Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Uh oh. It's that scrawny old man talking about power again. Well, with the situation in Texas, up in Vermont, where my cousin, the Norse Horse, lives, flooding, power outages, extended loss of electricity, and what to do about it. Florida and hurricane season it's best to be prepared and as a lower income type person but not poor yet um, these are the things that i do to be prepared for a good period of time let's do some close-ups on this stuff Oh, it also helps to be able to get up from the ground. In the way of full disclosure, I should let you know that I'm a Petcron affiliate and an Amazon associate. So I've linked the products used in this video in the more info section below the video. And anything you purchase using my links uh, puts a little bit of cabbage into the pocket of this kind elderly gentleman without any extra cost to you. And I'd like to let you know that Pecron's having a pre-prime day sale right now so it could be a good time to grab an item from them thank you for your support panning from my right i've got all these things plugged into either that e600 lfp that you see behind me or in front of me the e2000 lfp and the EB3000 extension battery. Um, I got my laptop plugged in. I got a fridge plugged in. The Ice Code JP40 right there. The laptop's plugged into the E600. I got my emergency radio plugged in. I also have uh, a couple other items charging, my tablet's over there, uh, my phone's sitting on top of the E2000 charging wirelessly. <clears throat> Big ticket items to simulate having to plug in the uh, fridge and, or anything else. Uh, so I got the TV plugged in and running off the E2000 LFP, also the cable box, and also this fan to keep the goalie llama cool. Let's see what kind of power they're pulling. Right now on the E2000 setup, I got 60 watts DC coming out. 198 watts from the TV, uh, the fan, and the cable box. What else do I have? That's it. Out of that, I got 75% less left, and I got 12.9 hours of power if I leave this uncharged and untouched. For the E600, I got a lot less power hanging out there because I've been running it for a couple days, running the laptop and 
charging stuff. I got 29% left. Uh-oh. I hear what you're saying. What's going to happen when you run out of power on those battery banks? What if it's a long-term storm and the sun doesn't come out so you can use your solar panel to charge or charge them off the wall outlets? Well, I'm really glad you asked that question. Stay tuned for the solution. And there's your answer, folks. It's the Champion propane power 2500 watt converter. I always keep a couple extra propane tanks on hand anyway. So with all the same things plugged in, TV, fan, fridge, fridge is plugged in right here, a couple of other USB things charging up. You can see that by the battery indicator, it's pulling power off the generator and it's pulling in 482 watts, which offsets the 197. And that's on the E2000 LFP bank. Um, and I have enough propane to probably last me a good 24 hours. And here's the little guy. Pulling in 277 watts with only 9 watts coming out from the laptop at this point in time. And by the way, Here's the line of thunderstorms coming through my area right now. No big deal though. And you also might ask, yeah, but what happens if you run out of propane? Well, watch a camping video. Because all this equipment right here can be easily loaded into the loser cruiser in approximately 20 minutes. And I'm out of here. Speaking out of here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Prepare in times of peace. Over and out.